Good afternoon, welcome back to our channel. We are glad you're here. Every so often we get contacted by companies who want us to try out their products. And most of the time those products are from overseas and they're silly little gadgets that don't benefit you at all and they don't benefit me, so I just don't do it. But this time I said yes, and it's because this product I think you'll like and it's gonna help me out with a problem that I'm having with my chickens. Now another reason I said yes is because this is a family owned business from Indiana. Now they did send this to me for free to test out and they wanted my honest opinion, so I'm gonna give it to them. And like I said, there's a lot of cool features to this thing, but there's also some things they need to improve. But I think that the overall product is pretty awesome. Now that company is called Hen Gear and the product is a new type of nesting box. That helps protect your eggs. So let's go and show you how to put it together and then we'll test it out for you. And then we'll wrap up at the end of the video and talk about the things that I love about it, how it performed, and the things that they can improve. If you're new here, awesome. Stick around on a permanent basis by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. Now one of the features of this nesting box is that the eggs roll away and they roll through a curtain. So that if you have hens that are pecking their eggs and eating their eggs, they're gonna roll behind that curtain and the chickens will not see them. That's a great feature since our barred rocks decided to start eating and pecking their eggs. I was initially thinking about replacing this nesting box with the one from Hen Gear, but these Rhode Islands aren't pecking their eggs at all. They're doing great. But these barred rocks really have an issue with that, especially the one with the green band around her leg. That's the one I think that's doing the majority of it. And I hope it doesn't rub off on the other two. I don't think it has so far. All right, let's get this thing together and then mount it in this coop out here. Let's get her opened up, see what's in the box. One of the features of this is this grass-like plastic mat here where the eggs kind of roll down and out into the collection area. And they did this so that um, the bloom on the eggs would not get ruined and it would not accumulate a whole bunch of uh, garbage on the top from like dust in your chicken coop. Here's the little egg curtain that the eggs roll through into the collection area of the nesting box. It's very light. It's like a durable vinyl. It's thick, it's probably, I don't know, three, four mil maybe. And uh, they're nice and close together so the chicken's not gonna see through that at all to see the eggs. So the first thing first is three eight inch bolts through these two spots right here on the side, on the side three and four. Okay, size three and four have the bolts through them. You're gonna need a nine sixteenths inch wrench and socket to do that. Okay, this is part number seven. It's got a roll in the end of it and that's where the bolt sits in there like that. And it sits on top. The other one just slips in the other side and comes out just like that. And I believe that's the egg tray to open up to get your eggs out. So we're gonna take this part number 12 here, which is called the tray front. That's gonna come to the inside. So you're gonna slide it in like this to the front. So into the front all the way like that and then you're gonna attach it at these two points and then one point on the bottom, on both sides, so in six places. All right, there's the egg collection tray. Pretty simple to put together. Now let's get to the nesting box part of it. Set this off to the side. You're gonna do the same thing as you did to the other one. You've got these big bolts. They're gonna come through the side, put the nut on like that and then that little rolled part right there on the bottom will fit over top of that. So here we go. We've got both sides with our bolts in the corners. We've got the back door right here with the rolled edge on the bolts themselves and that opens to the inside of the nesting box. Then to get part 10 in here in the bottom, we've actually got to pull this door up a little bit slide part 10 in here and then connect it in six spots with these little screws. Remember this has to swing freely to the inside like this. 
Okay, then you got the two C channels. The one has the uh, curtain on it for hiding the eggs. That's part number 13. That goes inside like this and connects exactly like that. And then one, this one is 11. That's the bottom C channel and just connects here at the bottom using those same little lock nuts and the 3 16 inch screws. So it looks like each one of these holes on the sides is elongated, so it's got some adjustability to it, which is nice. So we're going to put the top on here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just connects on the top with four of those 3 16 inch screws. So the inside of these nesting boxes is totally open. It's not compartmentalized like a lot of other nesting boxes or it doesn't have any dividers in it for each chicken. They've found in the research on their farm that the chickens do not mind a kind of a group laying situation as long as they've got some privacy from the outside and that's what this curtain is for. So the nice thing about this nesting box is that you can mount the egg collection tray on either the front or the back. So this is pretty simple. It's got three holes on the side. You're just going to align it with the holes on the main body here. But before you put the screws in, you're going to need to put on your roosting bar bracket. And that one pivots like this. So you can push up the roosting bar so that you can lift open the egg collection tray top to collect your eggs. So that one will go through right here on the side and align with those two holes right there. So once you've fully assembled your egg collection box on the front, you've got your roosting bar brackets on here. You put on your roosting bar, that flips up out of the way so you can open the trap door and collect your eggs. If you're putting the egg collection box on the back, there's no need to put that roosting bar on the back, obviously. It's gonna be still put here on the front to stick out into the coop to give your chickens somewhere to jump up onto and get into the nesting box. So this back door has a magnet and you put it right here at the bottom so when you close the door, it'll stick to the body of the nesting box and keep the door shut. But we're gonna push this open and we are going to insert our bottom grate. Now you're gonna do that so the front lip of that grate right here goes all the way into the front into the egg collection box itself. Then we're gonna slide in our mat on top of that. And we're ready to attach it into our coop. Now it comes with these brackets right here which you can screw into your coop wherever it is. And it hangs right here on these brackets. So let's go do that. Well, we've got it installed and they're checking it out. We're gonna wait a couple of days and actually leave all the eggs in there. We're not gonna collect any. We're gonna see if that little curtain does its job and helps prevent these barred rocks from pecking on their eggs because I know for a fact they do. They pecked through two out of three the other day and ate them, which is pretty crazy. And before you say it, I know, well, I've got them on a high calcium diet, but it's still not helping. So they've already got a taste for it. So getting the eggs out of their sight is the best thing to do. So we'll be back in a few days to talk about how it performed in terms of keeping those eggs safe. I'll talk about some features that I like and I don't like. See you in a minute. Welcome back. It's a few days later and we are going to talk about this nesting box and how it performed. So I haven't taken the eggs out of it in a couple of days and just to see if the hens could reach their necks down in there past that cool curtain that they have designed into it and peck the eggs like they were. Especially that one I told you about. She's got the green band on her leg. She's got a taste for eggs and uh, it's not good. So let's check it out. Okay, let's see what we've got in our egg collection box. We raise our roosting bar here. Just flip it up out of the way like that. And then open, open the door. All right, we've got some eggs and they're all intact, it looks like. I don't see any peck holes. 
Now this is pretty deep. This nesting or this egg collection box is, box is pretty deep past this curtain right here, which is nice. You know, uh, chickens have long necks, so they could reach down in there if they wanted to, but hopefully it looks like, anyway, that this has protected the eggs. You'll have to excuse the fan noise. It's about 100 degrees outside already. I took the nesting box in here in the barn so I could actually talk about it without pouring sweat on camera. Cool, now that we've established that the nesting box can protect your eggs from hens that love to peck on their eggs, let's take a look at some of the features I love and then some that can be improved. Okay, the obvious first feature that I love is the egg drawer itself. It did protect the eggs. Also, that mat that they put inside is really, really nice. It didn't impede any of the eggs rolling down. The slope is calculated properly so that they rolled down gently into the end, all the way to the end of it, and the chickens couldn't get to it. And then obviously that curtain that they put in there to block the view of the eggs from the chickens is awesome. I think I'm going to incorporate something like that into my nesting boxes that I already have that didn't protect the eggs at all. Another feature that I was actually unsure of that my chickens did like was the group laying idea where you don't have individualized separate boxes for each chicken where they can lay in there by themselves. But I saw two chickens in here <clears throat> the other day and they were laying next to each other. No problem at all. Let's talk about another feature I like a lot and that is the construction. It's really solid. It's really thick sheet metal. Now let's talk about a few areas on the box that I think hen gear could improve upon for an even better product. And one of those is this back door. Now it's really cool the way that Bryce features it in the company's video and that you can just push it open and clean it out and get things out like cleaning the mat, which is really, really great. But for someone like me on a homestead, that doesn't work too well if I want it rear mounted, a rear mounted egg drawer. And the reason is, is predators. So if I did it like this and mounted it on the outside of my coop, like a lot of nesting boxes are for homesteaders and um, people who just own backyard chickens, then it, it's not gonna work because you need some sort of secure protective barrier here so that nothing can just get into your coop. So potentially some sort of latch system on it. I don't know, I'm not the engineer, but potentially a latch system on it. If I do end up putting it on my other coop, I will come up with some sort of secure latch to hold both sides here because you guys know predators, you know raccoons, they can get in a lot of different places. Now for a large commercial area where this is inside of the coop, totally inside and not hanging out of a, a chicken coop, then it works perfect and you can clean it really easily and that's a cool feature. And building on that improvement, I'll talk about another awesome feature is that you can flip around the egg collection drawer from the front to the back. That makes it really versatile, especially for a homesteader, because we have different types of coops. You saw the coop that I put it in, it's just a, a cage, a metal cage outside. My other coop is built strong wood inside and the egg box is on the outside. So it's very versatile and it gives you a lot of options, which is neat. So here's another area which needs improvement and that's the flip up roost bar. So this is either a design or manufacturing issue and this roost bar has a little stop here. Where this piece folds up, it won't push back any farther and fold up any farther than what it is right here. And that causes this door, no matter how you slide it back and forth, to not fit down there. You have to jam on it to get it down past that. Now that's not a huge deal, it's just a precision issue in how it's manufactured. So if this cut right here can be pushed back a little farther, you get a little more distance on this roost bar as it folds up and stops back on here, then I think that'll alleviate the problem. So I'm really thankful for Hen Gear sending this to me and asking for an honest review because as you see, I don't hold anything back. Where there's improvements, I'll tell the company where they need improvements. Where there's awesome things, I'll tell the company there are awesome things. And on this particular nesting box, the awesome stuff far outweighs the little improvements that they could make. So I really love companies who send something and say, give me your honest opinion, and that's it. They want to know so that they can improve their product for you. 
Now, even with those few improvements that need to get taken care of, the overall product is amazing, all right? It saved my eggs over the last couple of days. No pecking going on. I usually would lose an egg a day. And I do recommend this thing. So I will put a link to it in the description below. And thank you so much to Hen Gear for thinking of me and sending this out. Now go check out this video right here, which shows you how we built our metal framed chicken coop. Have a great day. We love you. See you on the next video. Bye.